So uh, first off I need to get the camera case off and there are six screws attaching it to on either end and two underneath. So I get started on the two underneath first and uh, and set about doing the other two. All different uh, cameras have uh, different locations for these but uh, this one is uh, for the Samsung uh, Digi cameras. Uh, what I will say on these as well is uh, some are easier to get to the IR filters and others. Uh, on some they're glued in with hot glue uh, and that can be a bit of a bind to try and get off uh, but in this case it's uh, fairly straightforward once you can get to uh, the processor now what gave me the idea about doing this was uh, it gives you the ability to do night vision and record what you see as well because it is a total camera package uh, this one shoots in 1080 uh, HD uh, not that it matters so much in night vision but at, at least uh, you know that the actual film quality should be good uh, another reason I thought about doing this is uh, I did hear that there's a comet passing through sometime in December I thought it would be quite good to get uh, a night vision camera to do some filming of that when it happens as well. Uh, it's not just a matter of taking out the IR filter you also need uh, a source of infrared light which uh, I will get separately as an infrared torch to use as the illuminator. Right, you can see now I've got the covers off. What you can see there is the LCD monitor, and that's in its little uh, metal holder. Uh, at this point, I was looking to see where I need to take the uh, screws off. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lift the monitor up and have a look for the screws underneath. And I can see four screws underneath. But there is one screw that I can't see at this point, which is uh, a bit further back. But, uh, I'll just point out the screws now, one, two, at, at that side, and another two just there. So the next task will be to uh, get those screws out, so I can take off the, uh, the back plate to the uh, LCD screen. And I've speeded this bit up. Uh, and I must say the, uh, the screws are really small and fiddly so you need to make sure you've got uh, a small screwdriver similar to uh, what you'd use in a pair of glasses repair kit uh, sometimes it's easier to use the tweezers rather than your fingers as well to get the, uh, the actual screws out So there was uh, six screws holding the case onto the camera and then there's another five screws here to get the plate off but at this point I've only got four that I can see. This one was giving me a bit of trouble. Okay, so uh, I was trying to find out why it wasn't coming out. I realised I need to remove the circuit board, which is what I'm doing at this point. 
There's two screws attaching this on. Now I have attempted this before with a camera and I end up scratching the, uh, the actual uh, processor unit so that knackered the camera straight away. So you must be careful when you're doing all, all these uh, things. Because you can end up damaging your camera. But this one it's not my best camera, it's uh, one of about five that I've got. So I'm going to use this as a dedicated night vision camera. So there's the uh, circuit board off and you can see the screw in the bottom left hand corner. And that's what's uh, attaching the rest of the metal case. So then again, quite fiddly. Now it's just uh, a bit tight in this uh, bottom corner, so it just needs a bit of persuasion from underneath. You can see the ribbon there, you can take the ribbon off if it's holding the monitor on, but in this case, I didn't need to. So I just push on the uh, little sleeve that side and it uh, comes off. And now you can see the internal bits. Here we go. And the round circle in the middle, that is the process unit, and under that is the, uh, the IR filter, so that needs to come off next. Now some of these filters, like I say, are glued in, others are just uh, held in place by a rubber seal, uh, and that's how this one's uh, it rests on the rubber seal. But you will see I use the, uh, the tweezers to pry it off and it comes up. So I weren't sure if the uh, filter was where just above the lens but it's not, it's actually a, on the processor itself. It's got a bit of shine to it and that's it there. That's the filter there. I'm not sure how hard it would be, but it came off pretty easy in the end. So that is it. That's all you need to do to a digital camera to make it night vision proof. So all I need to do now is, in reverse order, put it all back together. torch off you can't see it so it does pick it up but I need a more powerful torch to go out any further. See the beam of light there. <coughs> so it does work, I just need a, a proper ion torch now and that'll mean I can uh, do some scope view through the camera. Uh, through the optic and record at the same time. So 
So the next time you see this uh, will be when I've got an infrared torch. And we'll come back to it again and see how much brighter it is.